What's up everyone, welcome back to a new Minecraft video, and in today's video we are doing the Iron Illager, a custom mob suggested by the- <clears throat> God, I- Okay, I just had to clear my throat there for a second, oh gosh. And not- <clears throat> A mob suggested by the unofficial noob, the Iron Illager. Now, if you don't know what it is, if I were to explain it in a nutshell, take, take the super strength of an Iron Golem, and the summoning capabilities of the Evoker, and boom, you got yourself the Iron Illager. So, let's go ahead and check in on Happer, see what he's up to. Uh, where are you at? You still you still pretend to be a bush, Happer? Ever since you turned very green for some reason? I still don't know what he ate to, t to turn very green. I t don't question it. But, anyways, so let's go ahead and check the mail. He left something in here, which I'm assuming has something to do with the Iron Illager. Today, we have managed to fuse the DNA of an Iron Golem. Yes, Iron Golems have DNA. Don't, don't question it. And an Evoker to create the Iron Illager. It has the power of summoning minions and super strength of an Iron Golem. We prepared a testing field so that we could see it in action from Happer. Alright, sounds cool, but, um, where, where, where's the, where's the testing field exactly? Because I, I don't, I don't know where it is. Happer gave me a map with directions, and, uh, I think, yep, there he is, the Iron Illager. Kind of looks like a villager just got coated in iron, honestly. I, I, I don't know. Today's challenges for the Iron Illager include level 1, the Hungry Zombie, which regenerates health on attack, level 2, the Skeleton, level 3, the Splitting Creeper, which is like a creeper that explodes and it splits into more creepers. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird like that. Level 4, the Blazing Juggernaut, like the Blaze, but it's melee and it attacks really fast. The Mini Boss Round, which is the Mutant Creeper, and then the Boss Round, a Mutant Enderman, but it's not your normal Mutant Enderman. So, let's start off off with level one the hungry zombie here he comes and as you can see he's uh yeah i don't, I don't think he, i don't think he's good i don't think he's doing so well with his uh he's kind of missing the torso but um he's coming up towards the iron illager right now and oh gosh yep he just hit him um the hungry zombie just, just, yeah yeah he's, he's 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 dead already okay that's great all righty let's summon three hungry zombies to fight the iron illager now see how that does <laughs> whoa did you, do you see the knockback on this thing like, he just throws them! <laughs> that is insane! Look at this, it's like, whoa! <laughs> that is, that is crazy, that is some insane knockback right there. And whoa, what is that thing? That is a super iron construct. It, I think it's shooting, like, explosive projectiles or something. I don't know, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely doing a number on those hungry zombies, and he is dead. Awesome. Alrighty, let's do five hungry zombies to conclude level one. And, uh, I, I don't know how this is doing. He, he's kind of getting surrounded by, uh, hungry zombies. Remind you, they do regenerate health when they attack an enemy, so... Yeah, I don't know how they find iron, uh, hungry, like, delicious or anything, but I, 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 don't, I won't question the hungry zombies' diet. I mean, he's missing a torso, he technically shouldn't be alive anyway. Iron Illager's taking quite a bit of damage here, honestly, and, well, I mean, so are the hungry zombies. Two of them are already dead at this point. This one's probably about to die any second now. And, yep, there he goes, and, oh gosh, a Super Iron Construct just spawned, doing 11 damage per projectile, dude. What is that? And it kind of sends him flying, too. Um, Iron Illager, you might want to get this dude right here. Yep, just kind of, yeah, okay, and his little, uh, golem, or whatever that was, an Iron Construct defeated it for him. Alrighty, that concludes level one. Now on to level two, the skeletons. I start out simple, just a normal skeleton, you know, kind of shoot him, and then the Iron Illager comes over here and absolutely destroys him and wrecks his day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, 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 Mr. Skeleton, you, yeah, yeah, I was about to say run, but, I mean, you kind of can't, can't escape from this thing without flying, so, uh. Alrighty, let's do three skeletons for this round just kind of going crazy over here whoa oh my gosh that was like a cool combo we, iron illager just like threw him and then the iron construct shot him to death or something i don't even know but hey now the skeletons know what it feels like to be spammed with projectiles so <laughs> there's that all right we'll, who will kill him first construct or nope the uh construct finished him before the iron illager could <laughs> Alrighty, to end off level two, let's do th five m skeletons. I'm about to say mutant skeletons. Nah, that 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 would be a boss, honestly, because a mutant skeleton is no joke. Um, he's kind of he's kind of taking quite a bit of damage here. He's below half health from all from enduring level one and level two. So, um, I don't know. He kind of seems to be doing good. And I forgot to mention, he's only taking one damage per hit, no matter what it's by. So. He really, all he has to do is just get hit 50 times to really die in the first place. 
All righty, time for level three. This one's going to be a very short round. It's the splitting creeper. It goes up towards him and explodes, and then... Yeah, it barely does any damage at all, honestly. But, yeah, it's just kind of a test of endurance. But, like I said, he only takes one damage per explosion. So, I mean, eh. On to level four, we got the blazing juggernauts, which is like the zombies, but if they were flying and did, like, a crud ton of damage. Like, like look at them. Like, they can do a whole bunch of combo attacks as well. Uh, if he didn't die in the first place. Okay, on to level two. We got the Blazing Juggernauts. They are going absolutely wild on this Iron Illager. Ooh, I, I don't think... Ooh, wait, maybe? Whoa! He's actually destroying the Blazing Juggernauts. Not even gonna lie. They're dead. Okay, that, that's great. Well, let's go ahead and summon five Blazing Juggernauts for this next round. And a Super Iron Construct just got summoned. Okay, and never mind, it just got unsummoned now. I think each uh, enemy that it defeats it summons a new Construct for some reason, which... Honestly, it should just summon multiple at a time, but I, I'm not going to question the rules of this thing. This thing has only got one health. Why Why would you continue to fight? You know what? No, I'm just going to... You, 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 don't, you don't get the fight, okay? <laughs> Go home, Blazing Juggernaut. You're you're practically dead. Okay, we're on to the mini-boss round now. Let me probably just uh, heal this dude up a little bit. And there you go, now he's healed. So now we're on to the mini-boss round. The Mutant Creeper. Oh boy, here he comes. Honestly, I don't know who's going to win. Ooh, fall damage is going to be a big problem for the Iron Illager this round. But the Super Iron Construct might be able to help him out a lot. Uh, Mutant Creeper is taking over half damage. Iron Illager is over half. So, mm, yeah, it kind of looks like the Mutant Creeper is going to die. Yep, there he goes. All right, let's see if he would have survived the explosion. Um, would he? Hey, he does survive the explosion. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the boss round. But, like I said... It's not any normal mutant enderman. It's a boss mutant enderman. Has 70 extra health and dampening, which it basically summons like a field of harming magic to the iron illager. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird like that. But anyways, here we go. Ooh, okay. I can tell fall damage is also going to be a big problem for this round because as you can see, that little move right there can do a lot of damage. What in the world is happening right now? Okay, I think that's that's the uh, that's the beats of enderman right there. Yep. There you go I told you guys uh, Iron Illager took 10 damage so far uh, This dude there's kind of set they're at the same percentage of health if you think about it Fall damage is definitely a problem for the Iron Illager though. So yeah I think the weight Iron Illager's weight is kind of a big problem because it's doing him quite a lot of fall damage and Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. He might actually die this round, guys. I don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Uh, ooh, he's at three health. Three health, guys. Two, one. Ooh, you might wanna, might wanna run. I wanna run, Iron Illager. Don't, don't fight him anymore. Just run. Okay. Just, yeah, okay. Well, he's dead. Well, well, let's go ahead and summon an Iron Illager for this next round, and he's kind of. I don't know. Why, why are you not fighting him? Dude, you're supposed to you're supposed to be fighting the, the, the Enderman Iron Illager. Okay. Or, or don't find. Just uh, At least your construct is fighting him. And he's about to die. Uh, zero health. Okay, let's see if both Iron Illagers would have survived this final attack. And I don't know, man. He's only taken one damage per hit, but that still could be a problem for an Iron Illager. Will he survive? Maybe? Maybe? Come on. Yeah, 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 he survived. But, yeah, that's the boss round. But, what if I were to tell you there's a bonus round? The Horde of Evokers attack! Oh my gosh, and it, oh gosh. Okay, the Iron Illagers are actually taking a lot of damage from this. This is a bad idea. Uh, oh no. <laughs> um, I mean, he's going at him. But I don't think he's going to do enough damage in time. D dude, these, uh, these uh, constructs are being swarmed by Vexes right now. Uh, are they even- You're supposed to fight this Iron Illager, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, he took a lot of damage from that. <laughs> the Vexes are going wild, too. Look at all those little, like, shark teeth things. Crocodile- I don't even know, dude. But they're going. 
Uh, yeah, I, th I think he's about to die. Yep, yeah, there he, there he goes. Oh, yeah, you can defeat a mutant creeper, but not a horde of, uh, evokers. But I, I guess that's, I guess it's fair game. Evokers are pretty freaking annoying. Anyways, that is all for today's custom NPC mod review battle thing. I don't even know, dude. <laughs> it was just wild. And, yeah, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what new mob battles, mod ideas, mod reviews, etc. Just lots of mod stuff. Okay, just comment it down below what you want to see next. That is all for today's video. Bye-bye.